ASOC here. So let me show you a new feature that we have added in Misty recently and that will be included in the next release. Um, so when you get a response from an AI assistant for a prompt, let's, let's, uh, let's do a prompt here. Say, um, tell me about the quantum mechanics. All right, quantum world. Blah, blah, blah. So this is Gemma 2 to be. There you go. So if you watch my previous video, you will notice that I showed you when you click on this, it's called response metrics. Uh, you know, it shows you how many tokens, uh, how many tokens per second, uh, how many tokens, input tokens, and then how much time it took to get to the first token. Now, what I didn't show you <laughs> was this details view. So if you click on details view, you will see more information right you will see uh, again output tokens uh, tokens generation time tokens per second number of input tokens how much time it took to evaluate the input that that's your prompt and then how much time it took to load the model since this is a local model uh, it also shows you you know how much time it took to load the model and time to first token and then total time so uh, down here, it will show you all the parameters that um, that you use for this prompt, and you can go back to quick view. So this feature was has been asked uh, by our users for a long time now, and internally we have always discussed about how to make this feature more useful uh, rather than just copying it, right? So yes, of course we could have added this one, but we were thinking why would somebody use this feature? Well, somebody would use this feature because they want to compare uh, probably the speed. Uh, they make some parameter changes and they want to see it. Now, let's ask another one. Let's say, um, summarize it. And now, again, if you go here, um, you can see this view. Uh, and, and this is, you know, I mentioned what most of the apps give you, right? Let's give you this. And to be able to compare, what you have to do is, okay, I got 98.3, 98 tokens per second. And you go here, and this is 102, okay? So what does that mean? That means it's, uh, okay, let me see. Okay, it's 98 less. Uh, it's more, okay? But... What about the tokens? Okay, 255, 251 tokens. So, so you know, you have to go back and forth. And, and this is something that we wanted to solve um, with this. And now, if you click here, what you will see is you will see, we'll also show you the differences. You know, um, the, model, the model remain the same. Uh, the output tokens definitely is less. That doesn't mean be a bad or good. Right, it depends on what you're looking for. If you are asking to summarize it, you don't want it to be more tokens. So, you know, that's why we don't show green or red here. But here, token generation time, as you can, as you can see, it went down. It went down from six uh, seconds to 2.55 seconds. So, so, so it went down 57%. And same thing with tokens per second. It went down. Uh, so tokens generation time is, is less, uh, it, but the tokens is also less. So that means we got less tokens per second. So it went down by 4% about. Here, similarly, input evaluation time uh, went up um, because we are also passing the previous uh, context message, uh, messages as context. Model load time went significantly down. Uh, why is that? Because the first time we had to load the model, it was not in the memory, and now... Uh, because it was in the memory, you didn't have to load it again. So it's significant save here. Uh, took a time to first time to first token also went down, seventy six percent down, and the total time went down by fifty nine percent. And this has to do with the model load time. The parameters didn't change. Now, this is great because now you don't have to go back and forth, back and forth. You know, you just click on it, just gives you it compares with the previous one in the same split view. So it doesn't compare with a different conversation or a different split.
So in the same spirit, same tab, uh, it will do the comparison for you. All right, you can see the date here as well when, when this was generated. Now this is even more useful when you change some parameters, right? Let's let's go and change some parameters here. Let's um, ask the same question here. Tell me about quantum mechanics. But this time, change some parameters. Maybe I want to do change the my uh, what do I want to change here? Um, context, basic options. Um, hold on. Let me go with to a different model here. All right, GPU layers. So I'm using Queen Two. Uh, it's a feature model. That's why it knows all these things that can be changed. Anyway, so G GPU layers is negative one, uh, which means just use all of it. So if if I ask it again, tell me about the let's let's load it first. Let's say hi, so that we can load it and we can, we'll ignore it. Okay, well pretty fast actually for some reason. Okay, so we'll just do a context sale here, so uh, we we don't get polluted by this. So now let's ask, what's the tell me about the quantum mechanics all right that's good <laughs> okay let's see how it changed cool um evaluation time went up because we we're passing more context blah blah, blah. Uh, total time went up as well of course because it took more time to generate tokens. It took 0 0.84 seconds, and now it took 8.82 seconds because the output tokens went significantly up from 50, 53 to 551, which is about 500 more. All right, so now, if I change some parameters here, uh, GPU is what I was looking for. Let, let's say you, you change some GPU here. Let's say you made it 25. And we should save for this tab. And then let's, let's ask, um, Let's regenerate it. Let's see what happens. So we ask the same question. Might not be the same amount of uh, tokens, but should be very close. Okay. It already kind of feels slow. All right. Now, again, if you didn't have that view, what you have to do is like you have to go here, go back, compare, and go back, maybe take a screenshot or something. So now you can just click on this one details view and you can see uh, the so for the same kind of tokens for the same kind of prompt where the output tokens were not that much different five five forty one versus five fifty one before now the tokens generation time uh, though did went up uh, you know almost doubled eighty seven percent and tokens per second again fifty percent down makes sense and the evaluation time it wasn't that much, you know, like um, it went down, didn't take that much time. Model load time went up for whatever reason. Uh, time to first token um, again went up and total time uh, went up as well. And, you know, we, we can keep doing this, right? Just keep, keep generating that. And you might want to give it a couple of tries so that, um, you know, uh, model load time or things like that don't affect uh, your token generation time it's more fair <laughs> all right so now if you click on it details view this is compared to the previous one uh, you know token generation time uh, went up uh, 563 541 but it didn't went up by that much as you can see because now this is this is the GPU layers didn't change we're still 25 we're using 25 layers right but before the one before this one let's see went up so this is compared to the previous one so that went up all right so now you can also change models uh, let's change it to gma2 here and say uh, tell me more about it and now if you click on it details view now it will also show you what um, what model you were using before and what model it is now. So you switch the model so that you don't get, 
you know, uh, uh, false positive or negative thinking that, oh, how, why did I, why did my, um, why did, why did my um, generation time or tokens for a second went up or down? Uh, because, you know, uh, your, your model changed and now you're using a faster model. So, you know, accuracy may be down, but of course the performance is better now. And then GPU layers, of course, went from 25 to negative one again. So that means we also use more GPU uh, layers here. All right. Um, uh, that's, oh, so one more thing here. So it also shows you uh, other information. So for an example, uh, if we turn on the, this real time data and what's the news now, I see. <laughs> That's what it says now. What's the news now? All right. Well, oh, shit. There is a shooting at a Georgia high school. Um, all right. I um, didn't want to uh, show you that, but that said. Okay. So if you now, if you click on here, click on details view, it will also show you that it also, you know, this used real time uh, data from the internet. And then this total time actually, uh, it's not showing here, but it does consider how much time it took to so uh, to fetch the real time data. That is the, you know, go to the internet and get the data. So that is factored in, in this one as well. So you might see this going up and down based on whether you have uh, real time data enabled or not. And, you know, we added this new another feature where uh, you can, if you command click here, you can customize the query, right? So um, what's the best? Uh, microphone to get for home recording. Um, this is a good one, my good microphone, by the way. Um, but anyway, so if I do that one now and say, make me a list, whatever that means. Uh, all right, so it went there. Um, now, if you click on this one, SM. 7B. I think mine is MB7. Okay. Details view. If you click on details view, you, it also shows you what uh, query you use to get this one. Because, you know, when you have this one, you don't have a way to know if you customize the query. So, yeah, using real time data from the internet, that's the question that is what's the best microphone to get for home recording? All right. There you go. Um, that's um that's all um there is to it uh of course we will make any changes uh you know if we feel like we can enhance this and if you guys have any ideas any feedback let us know and uh yeah this will be out in the next release uh and yes it will be included in the free version so you know i was uh if you uh, saw my announcement on the discord channel i mentioned how uh, we are changing some licensing model and but you know and but i also said that we'll be adding new features so it, this is one of those where this is it will be in free features free 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 tier as well so we are not stopping adding new features <laughs> to free tier so all right thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one bye